Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kair College of Engineering, Trichy. This is the solution and discussion on gate question paper in the subject Fluid Mechanics and Machines. And this is lecture number 60 in the solution for gate questions. The topic for this lecture is Turbulent Flow Part 1. So, we take a few questions in the turbulent flow and we find the solution, solve the problem questions and we will discuss the answers. The first question, it appeared in 1988. The parameter which determined the friction factor for a turbulent flow in a rough pipe are, there are four options, Froude number and the relative roughness, Froude number and Mach number, Reynolds number and the relative roughness, Mach number and the relative roughness. So, the parameter which is the friction factor is determined by the Moody chart. So, this chart is a Moody chart. So, here uh, we have x axis Reynolds number, the y axis friction factor and these lines are relative roughness. So, here you have the relative roughness, the lines for relative roughness. So, Moody chart is used to find out the, uh, the friction factor for turbulent flow. The parameter are Reynolds number and the relative roughness of the pipe. The next question from 1994 question paper, Randall mixing length in turbulent flow signifies the average distance perpendicular to the mean flow covered by the mixing particle, the ratio of mean free path to the characteristics length of the flow field, the wavelength corresponding to the lowest frequency present in the fluid flow field, the magnitude of turbulent kinetic energy. So, you, you look at the definition for mixing length in the turbulent flow. Mixing length is the distance one must move transversely along the x direction or along the direction of the flow uh, such that u equal to u dash, where u is the velocity of the flow in the x direction, u dash is the fluctuation component of velocity in the direction of j. So, the answer is average distance perpendicular to the mean flow covered by the mixing particle, that is the uh, significance of the Randall mixing length. The next question again from 1994 question paper, oil flows through a 200 millimeter diameter horizontal cast iron pipe of friction factor 0 0.025 of length 500 meter. The volumetric flow rate is 0 0.2 meter cube per second. The head loss in meter due to the friction is, uh, we have to calculate the head loss due to friction in the turbulent flow. We are take assume G equal to 9.81 meter by second square. So, the answer, head loss due to friction, HF equal to FLV square by 2 GD for the turbulent flow. Velocity V equal to discharge by cross-sectional area. So, Q by A whole square. So, substituting all the parameters, 4 square by pi square into FLQ square by 2 G due to the power 5. So, substituting the numerical values, HF equal to 16 into 0 0.0225 into 500. Uh, L is a 500, 0.2 meter square discharge divided by pi square into 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.2 to the power 5. So, solving the answer is 116.3 meter. So, 116.3 meter, 0.18 is the correct option. Option A is the correct answer. Next question from 2013 question paper. For steady fully developed flow inside a straight pipe of diameter D, Neglecting gravity effects, the pressure drop delta P over the length L uh, the, and the wall CSS tau W are related by. We have four options here. The CSS tau W equal to minus dP by dx into R by 2. So, dP by dx minus dP by dx equal to uh, P, dP equal to P2 minus P1. So, this becomes delta P, pressure difference. So, we take P1 minus P2 will become positive. So, L by d to the power 4. So, the answer is option A, delta P D uh, divided by 4 L is the correct option for the uh, relation between the shear stress and the pressure drop. The next question from 2014 question paper, consider turbulent flow of fluid through a circular pipe of diameter D, identify the correct pair of statements. The fluid is well mixed, the fluid is unmixed. Reynolds number is less than 2300, Reynolds number is greater than 2300. The exactly known answer is fourth option, Reynolds number greater than 2300. So, this is the option. So, we have A and C, they are not correct, either B or D. The second option is the fluid is well mixed. 
So the answer is option D, 1 and 4, that is the answer. The fluid is well mixed and the Reynolds number is greater than 2300. The next question from 2016 question paper, the instantaneous stream-wise velocity of a turbulent flow is given as follows. U of velocity of x, y, z and time t equal to u bar of x, y, z and t plus mu dash x, y, z and t. The time average fluctuating velocity u dash x, y, z and t is so the zero. The time average of the fluctuating velocity is equal to zero. Option C, zero is the correct answer. The next question from 1987 question, uh, gate question paper. In the case of turbulent flow, the uh, fluid flow, fluid turbulent flow of fluid through a circular tube as compared to the case of laminar flow at the same flow rate, the maximum velocity is dash, CS test at the wall is dash, and the pressure drop across a given length is dash. So you have to identify the correct words for the blanks, three blanks given here. So the correct option, so you have four options, look at the options here. So the correct option is the maximum velocity is lower, CS stress at the wall is higher, and the pressure drop across the given length is higher. So this is for turbulent flow as compared to the laminar flow. So you look at here, how we will explain. So this is for pure laminar flow. So the shear stress distribution, the velocity distribution for a laminar flow. And this is for combination of, so when the Reynolds number is equal to 1000, so the flow is laminar. When the Reynolds number is great, uh, it is equal to 10,000, 10, the flow becomes turbulent. So the maximum velocity here is the maximum velocity at the center. It is lower for the, comparing with the laminar flow. And the wall shear stress is higher. Actually, uh, wall shear stress is higher and the pressure is lower here. So we'll get low pressure, low uh, pressure at the center, maximum velocity, CST is higher and the pressure drop is higher. Next question from 2008 question paper, oil be, be, being pumped through a straight pipe. The pipe length, diameter and volumetric flow rate are all doubled in a new arrangement. The friction, pipe friction factor, however, remains constant. The ratio of frictional losses in a new arrangement to that original configuration would be, we have four options. So we have straight pipe, pipe. So there are three parameters, pipe length, pipe diameter and volumetric flow. Length, diameter and the volumetric flow, they are all doubled in the new arrangement. Friction factor remains constant. So what is the ratio of frictional losses? So it is 0.25. So we'll see how in the next slide. So L2 equal to two times of L1, D2 equal to two times of D2, Q2 equal to two times of Q1, and F1 equal to F2. These are all the conditions given in the uh, question. And the frictional head, HF equal to 8FLQ square by pi square G to the power 5. This is the equation for turbulent flow. So HF2 divided by HF1 equal to L2 by L1 into Q2 by Q1 whole square into D1 by T2 to the power 5. So multiplying 2, L2 by L1 is 2, Q2 by Q1 is 2 square. D1 by D2 is 2 to the power 1 by 2 to the power 5 this is equal to 1 by 4 which is 0.25 that is the answer to the question. So we stop here. So these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can refer to the YouTube channel for more videos of the books mentioned here or shown here and you can improve your learning. So thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture. Uh, with a solution for the gate question paper. Until then, bye.